Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Monica. So today I'm gonna to be doing a review and demo on the Bondi Sands Self Tanner. I did a review a few months ago and the lighting was like so weird and strange. So I redid the review and I wanted to get it up because honestly, I am obsessed. Spoiler alert. I just think it's so amazing. So I wanted to start off by showing that this is the one that I use. It's the Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam and I use the shade Dark. Um, I believe they have other shades also. Um, I'm not sure if they have anything darker than this, but I'm pretty sure that they do. So Bondi Sands also has like a bunch of different kinds of tanners. I know they have the foam. I know they have like an oil, I believe. I'm sure they have like a lotion. Personally, I only use the foam. It's the only one that I've ever tried and I loved it so much. I never wanted to keep looking for another one. So I'm going to talk to you guys about everything that I do. I'm also going to show how I apply it and what the color looks like after. So I'm really, really excited. So I'm going to start off with Exfoliating. I always exfoliate before I shave. I use the Dr. Teal's Pink Himalayan Salt Scrub. I love this stuff so much. It makes your body so smooth and I also use the body wash in the same scent to go with it. Um, I just, I love this stuff so much. I exfoliate before I shave and after. Um, and I just feel like my tan goes on so nicely. So I use these. So then for shaving, I use the Aveeno Positively Smooth Shave Gel. So in this, it actually has soy and aloe and vitamin E. So I tend to get those like, those like red bumps. I don't know what they're called. I think they're called like strawberry legs or something like that. I don't know. I get them on my legs though after I shave when I don't exfoliate and use the shaving cream. This just really helps calm down like sensitive, um, parts of your body when you shave. So I really, really love this so much. It makes my legs so smooth. Um, so I definitely recommend this, even if you're not tanning and just want like a really nice, smooth shave, I recommend this. Okay, so when I get out of the shower, I always apply lotion to my whole body. I know some people only apply it to like their elbows and their knees. I apply it everywhere because I want my body to be totally smooth, totally even, and I want the foam to glide on everywhere. So what I use is I just use the Johnson and Johnson baby lotion and that's it. I try to use something that doesn't have a very strong scent because the Bondi Sands it's, I don't want to say the scent's really strong. It really doesn't bother me at all, um, but it does have a scent. So I would just be careful about what lotions you're putting on because you don't want to, you know, put on like a super scented lotion and then this and then they're like not going to mix well. So I definitely recommend this lotion or even a lotion that doesn't have any fragrance in it at all. Um, but I definitely really like this. So what I'll do is I'll apply the lotion all over. Like I said, I apply it all over, not just only like on my elbows, but like literally everywhere. I moisturize my whole body and then I wait probably like two minutes just for it to like soak in. And then I go in with the foam. I put the foam on the little mitt that comes with the self tanner and I just start rubbing it in. I do probably about like two pumps, two and a half pumps for an arm and maybe like three pumps per leg. And that's pretty much it. I rub it in and I tend to wait probably about like seven hours. I do sleep with this on. It does not stain my sheets or anything. So it's totally awesome. Um, I am gonna show you the before and after um because it's just crazy and you can also do multiple coats of the bondi sands if you would like also me personally i just like one because i just like to look like glowy i'm so pasty like like a ghost like literally so white so i like to just do one coat just to like make myself look glowy and tan and yeah, that's all I feel like I need. So in the morning, all I do is shower. I don't really exfoliate, I don't use soap. I pretty much just rinse my body off and then pat dry with a towel and then that's it. I also wanted to talk about face tanning. I personally wouldn't recommend putting tanner on your face, um, but that's just me. I know people that do it. I know people contour with it. And I, I know people do it, but with me being sensitive and having acne prone skin it just kind of worries me to put something like this on my face um so what i do use i use two things i'll either use the dr dennis gross glow pads or i will use the saint tropez self tan bronzing water face mist 
this has fragrance in it but I think it's okay to use every once in a while. Like I said, I have really sensitive skin. So I used it last night. It gave me a nice glow. It wasn't something crazy. I just don't want that terrible contrast between like a totally white face and then like a tan body. I know some people don't have an issue with it, but for me, especially for quarantine, I haven't been wearing makeup that much. So I'm trying to like look as even as possible. Um, but yeah, I really like these for the face. And I haven't had an issue with them, so I really like them. So I totally recommend the Bondi Sands. Like I said, I'm going to play the before and after so you can truly see the color. It looks so natural. I have it on my body right now. It looks so natural and like... I just, I honestly really love it so, so, so much. I've tried a bunch of different self tanners and honestly, I feel like this is the most affordable and amazing self tanner, like literally ever. I just think it's so good. I've tried um, Loving Tan, Fake Bake, um, the Rodin and Field self tanner. And honestly, this one just has such a nice olive undertone also. It doesn't make you look orange. Just makes you look literally sun-kissed it's so good totally recommend it you can get it online or you can get it at walgreens and cvs i think target may have it also now um so i really like it it's affordable and it's awesome so i would definitely check them out So anyway, I hope you guys like this review and yeah, we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.